Pisces. Bruh. Really, Nick? You woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning for this shit? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a centric rock star scene. I have another intuitive message. A real, for real, crown chakra. My heart's pounding like I just drunk four cups of strong, dark, black coffee, no cream, no sugar. Keep in mind, take what resonates, leave what does not. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. This was near my car. I don't know who this is like a it's look I opened it. It's like a somebody writes music or writes poetry. Like the, it's a song or something. I don't, I don't know who it belongs to, but it was by my car that was um that's a message. I also have a couple intuitive messages. You are a great writer. Uh this is this this is going to be like a, a therapy session. Okay, for my Pisces, because I, I feel like you need it. You woke me up at four o'clock this morning, and I'm going to tell you exactly how it went. <laughs> and don't laugh at me, neither. It's serious. I'm, I'm dead serious because I'm Dr. Khadijah today. We Dr. Khadijah medicine woman today because this is a problem. This is a strong reaction to everything, okay? My voice, the intensity in my voice, somebody wants to snap. But really, like when I said something about the heart pounding, it's like, and, and breathe. You just gotta breathe. Anxiety. Okay, this is hypertension. This is a, if you don't stop, you're gonna have a damn heart attack. It, it on a, but on the surface, it looks cool. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna go through all these cards in just a second. You just hold on. All these cards mean something already. Right. I was doing my own reading, minding my own damn business, as I do, because. Six of Swords, Peace and Tranquil. Okay, you do your own due diligence. And I get this message. I'm sorry, y'all, for breathing so hard. But I have, uh, first of all, Assalamu alaikum. What are fun to Allah? What better cast of who? Okay, Fahalik, Beanie Siegel, okay, is a Muslim. Beanie Siegel is also a Pisces. Beanie Siegel was also nothing to play with. Nothing to play with. The song, What's Your Life Like? Okay? That's what it, it was like. It was like it was blasting. Like if you fall asleep with headphones in your ear, which I didn't, but it felt like that. And the music is too loud. You just have to jump out your sleep or a song come on and jump you out your sleep. Okay. The beginning of the song, if you listen to the music, the sound of the beat, it's like they slam the, the, the gel bars. Okay? And the beat come on, like it's, I think it's Superman, the beat he used for that song, okay? I'm going to sing, I wrote the whole song down, okay? All my notes. I wrote the whole song because I'm required to say it. I'm also required to tell you to Ikra, sword number 28, that means read, feast to be left, okay? In the name of God, because where you at right now, the way I'm feeling right now is like, you need to calm the fuck down, okay? But we're going to keep going. 28, sword 28, ayat number 24. Sword number 17, ayat number 45. Oh, yeah, I'm also called to tell you, you know, that's from the most high. You ain't going to do shit, okay? Sierra, like a surgeon. That's, that, that's where that Dr. Quinn medicine woman is, is coming in. Dark negative thoughts turned into things. Something with this person's mentality, okay? He's real dark, ominous, like a diabolical joker, okay? This could be like an eternal student going going dark, okay? But he got the, the ethereal, he has that knowledge nonetheless. But you notice how that's right under the death of transformation. And you got the hair on here. Let me, let me get to the song because I'm supposed to say the song, okay? I have eyeglasses on my face and everything. That's how you know it was serious. Okay, things, you know, burdened by snake energy. It's something you did in the dark or you didn't want this person to know and they end up knowing anyway and it caused a very, it caused a tower. I don't know if it was friends, a group of friends, somebody came together and did something. Okay, and uh, it got, I think it backfired. It slapped this person right in the face. They didn't get what they expected to get out of it or something like that. But I got to get in my groove now because I got to sing Beanie Siegel behind this shit since you done blasted it in my ears and woke my ass up today. Okay. 
Um, niggas want to know if Beanie Siegel life is real. Nigga, 25 of life is real. I get... What? I get a body take me right to jail. I know what it's like in hell. I did a structure in that trifling cell. What you know about 23 and 1? Locked down all day, underground, never seeing the sun. Visiting strip... Visit strip from you, never seeing your son. You got bricks on the strip, never see them get done. What you know about all day? Them little Debbies and them Chi Chi's. They making you sick. You gotta wash out your drawers, same water you shit. Brush, gargle and spit, same water you piss. You down with this nigga. You done killed this brother. But dog, don't think he don't know it. Damn, he's a sucker that he don't show it. Payback's a motherfucker and he won't blow it. What you know about them four letters? Not the kind you write or the kind you sit down and type. Sign at the margin. Get it right. I'm talking about that real time. Life like Eddie and Martin. To my niggas, that's up the fort. When I get there, fuck a pack. Hand me a log and a push rod toilet sword. So when I hit these niggas up, they can't call the guards. Nigga, what's your life like? Mines is real. Everything signed and sealed. Nigga, what's your life like? Mines is real. Everything signed and sealed. I'm going to go to the next part, okay? I'm going to cut the course short. What you know about solitary? Lockdown, no commissary. And you wild already. And you just seen your moms get buried. You got drowns coming in all kinds of flurries. What you know about the towel on your cell when you alone at night? Or a jailhouse hunger strike? Or you sitting in your cell and just zone one night and you think, damn, I'm never coming home one night. You got five years in, never been flown the kite. You hearing grown men moan that night. They got you stuck in the can. White man got you fucking your hand. Your wife on land fucking your man. What you know about no parole, life in the hole, life's cold, you be eating them swags, guards on the night shift, they be beating you bad, the hardest nigga turn bitch, he sleeping with, hmm, what you know about getting and shipping balloons, keep switching positions in the visiting room, gotta take X slack, hope you get it in time, gotta shit in your palm just to get the Haran, and you talking about your life is this, your life is that, your life ain't shit. Your life is whack. Man, you listen to the realest nigga. Close your eyes, motherfuckers. Tell me you don't feel this nigga. Clearly, I'm sorry, y'all, but that the emotion is there. Clearly, clearly, this is somebody who, on one hand, I get a dual message with this. On one hand, somebody underestimated you or just is real. They feel real inferior standing next to you, either... You are a match for somebody's ignorance. Your intelligence is a match for somebody's ignorance or you royally piss somebody off and that's how they realize your intelligence is a match for their ignorance. Somebody obviously thought they could push you over. Now, Beanie Siegel is also from Philadelphia, okay? As am I, clearly. And he's Pisces and a Muslim and a soldier, apparently. He is talking about real life experience. So he, you might be around somebody who think this is like fluff, bullshit. It's like silly, hee hee, ha ha. You got time to do feeble minded shit. That's, you wonder why people don't take you serious. You know, you know, like real grudge, real nasty, real, real nasty ass attitude and demeanor against you. What did you do? Because that is the death of transformation. What exactly did you do? Okay? All you did was tell the truth and leave off the rest of it. Why is this person so burdened? You know? Why? I don't know. Let's see. What's the energy? We know what the energy is if I'm singing Beanie Siegel lyrics. Oh, by the way, Beanie, I don't have I don't have rights to his music, y'all. But uh, let's keep going. I don't have rights to your music, but it, it, somebody sent a clear, concise, comparison, contrast type of message to me at 4 o'clock in the morning when they should have been praying 
to hush it or something. Okay? Because that's when God descends down to the lower level of the heavens and he's ready to answer anybody who can't, who sacrificed their sleep to wake up to pray. So I'm meant to be educating somebody about what they think they know already or are just not in the mood to want to learn. Let's keep going. Because I already started a reading on my own, but this kind of like flows into something. Like somebody wants you to apologize. That's what it is. What I'll tell you, I'm Dr. K I'm Dr. Khadija today. We are doing Reiki with the Centric Rockstar Seed today. Reiki, this is the Queen of Cups. You notice how the person's laid out on the couch and this, this nurturing, compassionate person, this therapist, this empathic, this healer, this helping hand of, of, of the Most High, this real loving, real kind-hearted person is the overall energy. And we're going to put her right here, okay? This person... Could be themselves with you, okay? And on the bottom is the fool card. You could really talk some common sense into this person because right now, the way they feeling with reciting Beanie Siegel lyrics, you may need to go knock on the door and check on somebody or don't even pick the phone up or call. Go to see that person because he or she is not doing that great, okay? They need to talk to somebody. So, sorry y'all, I, I got all my feathers here. Something you do. What's so great? All right, let's talk about this Queen of Cups, the therapist. Divine wisdom guides me. I'm guided throughout this day in making the right choices. Divine intelligence continuously guides me in the realization of my goals. I am safe. So you are protected by this person. If they got a wrath, against you god's wrath is on them ace of wands is right here so it's the ace of cups okay you're not first of all you're not going to interrogate or intimidate no none of god's servants that you can forget that there's nothing you could do to really try to g-check this person about something you don't like the next one is i am at peace with my age let's i don't know what that means yet each age has its own special joys and experiences and I'm always the perfect age where I am in life. So wherever this Queen of Cups is in life, she's at a wise enough. She's a mother. You could be obviously you're mature if you're a queen, a, a king or a queen doesn't matter. They are mature energies. So let's 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 get into this. And we got these, the space in between, and who benefits? I like the red hair. The space in between. So while love wants physical and emotional closeness, sex needs distance. In the realm of sensual desires, what's mysterious is what's most electrifying. Have you ever met someone who came on too strong or have ever spent too much time with a partner? It might have made you happy initially, but it likely didn't arouse you. So the action is we're taught to smother those we're attracted to, to obsess over and dissolve into them. Not only is that unattractive to our base sexual selves, it's no way to live. So instead, aspire to live stimulating, full, spacious lives from those you're intimate with. You do, do more of your own thing. Pleasure is found in mystery. mystery. And then you have who, who benefits from that? Clearly, who benefits from your shame? Question mark. Let's think about it for a second. What forces of oppression want to see you small, shamed, and unworthy? That's another question. And why would they want to see you like that? This is your invitation into a deeper understanding of the social structures of shame. The more you know where it comes from, the more you realize this shame is not your own and is not permanent. So your action is, you're required to shift it by showering yourself with unconditional love and rich adoration. Worthiness is a muscle that must be exercised to become stronger. Actively disengage with ideas, people, and imaginary 
that would have you doubt your worth. Your sensuality is part of that worth. It's time that you start claiming it. So this Queen of Cups is a person who is more than qualified to guide this person. This it this fool's energy. This this young at heart, this young spirit person. But this person can also this person may have a little bit of naive energy. Maybe he could have made an error of judgment and forced a separation between him and his therapist. So maybe he was acting irrational with the full card right there. Or something happened that was irrational. And the therapist can't do it. They kind of put a wedge between this person and that therapist. Maybe this person assumed or had an idea about what a therapist's job is. And a therapist is only advice. You know, it's 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 an, it's intellectual advice. It speaks from life experience, but they cannot force you to take the advice. You have to practice your free will. This person could be in coward energy, respectfully saying, because to do this to yourself, that's not a brave act. And this could be an emotional abuser. This person could have a poor personality disorder. Maybe even be narcissistic. Maybe borderline narcissistic. They're, these are all different things. And this therapist has a way of healing this person. And advising and teaching this person. So something happened. This person don't understand what happened that he lost his support system. You're called to make the effort. Great love is worth taking this, taking the steps you're guided to take. Maybe he needs to hear it from this therapist to proceed forward operating from your heart space. That could be the, the issue. You know, that's was where I'm talking about where I was called to say Reiki. Reiki with the centric rock star seed. Okay? Because Reiki, the point of Reiki, it heals trauma that's trapped in the organs emotional trauma to be precise so this person's heart could be in a bad space or just emotional trauma is trapped in this person's heart okay and this person was god sent this resource was god sent to this person okay you have the hierophant that is a leader of the community first of all This is knowledge right here. The death card, death of transformation. Maybe this, this person cannot believe you pulled this person, you pulled this person out of depression. Okay? Whoever this death, death of transformation, this, this is centric. This person is centric too. Look at her. This person is not afraid to be himself. This person will say it within truth. Okay? This gives me Mardi Gras vibes or something. I don't know. But French vibes. You know, this five of cups. This is depression. This is crying over spilled milk. This could be that person. Burdened. It could also represent gins with that fire on the back of that lady's dress like that. So you know what I'm hearing now that I just said? It's like as soon as the words come out my mouth, it's like, ding, there you go. There's an attachment attempted to be made on this person this therapist and this attachment is what this person thinks is the reason why they don't have that therapist no more but let me tell you something why is the attachment on this person this woman this person is standing there in a bride's in a bride's dress that represents purity this person is burdened with and this is the ten of wands this is burdened with responsibility whether somebody from the out external part of this dynamic, this uh, this friendship or this therapist patient dynamic, this person, maybe somebody from the outside of these two people, put something on this person and caused a, a real separation. The death card is a major arcana. Good thing it's not in reverse because the way I read the reverse of the death card is twice as likely as being in the upright. 
okay? Because you have the Hierophant. That's a, a leader of the community, but that's also religion. Heavy emphasis on religion in this reading. Heavy emphasis on the artist's lyrics I just recited to you, okay? He was heavily religious. So much of his religion was in his music, if you go back and listen to it. Then you got finances and career. Let's keep going. We're going we're gonna to put it all together. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. Then you got the high priest, priestess. That's Piscinian energy right there underneath the Hierophant. And then you got the eternal student. This person has such a play with words. Um, this person has such a play with words. You know, it's, it's, it's hard. You can't fool when you going through changes and you have a professional like this. This person's built for this person, for this person's concerns. Or the one thing that could not be penetrated about this person by other loved ones, right? This, this was a, a, a gift to this person. This person is angry, irate. You got the Six of Swords. Move into calmer waters, no arguing. This person brings a lot of tranquil and peace. That's a representation of this eternal student. And that's right next to the high priestess. So this person is of high value. So who told this person to send something? Or who told either you, Pisces, or, or an external resource? Put something on this person and get in and... That was all she, all she wrote. You know, she felt that that fire, that gins are made from smokeless flames, flames of fire. Okay? Somebody wanted to taint the reputation of this, this pure... You obviously hold this person in high regard, Pisces. And somebody wanted to taint the image of that person or destroy the representation. Public humiliation. This person earned something or was gifted something... And they're covered. Someone attempted to cover this person in humiliation. Somebody wanted to leave this person sick. Or right now, somebody is sick to their stomach at what the fuck just happened. Then you got female savage. I don't think this is the coward bitch that wanted to push Jens off on the therapist. I don't think so. I think this therapist is not something to be reckoned with. That's why that's the therapist. That's the teacher. Okay? Oh, Marty Ma, I love the kids, huh? There we go. Remember Scorpio had that energy a few weeks back? All right. So, on one hand, that's like the background that kind of talks about the therapist or what could have happened or attempted to happen to that therapist. Then you got, over here is another part of, uh, this is another message with the Ace of Wands. That could be the wrath of God too. Coming to, coming to, you know, whenever there's a 10, there's an Ace. You know, somebody attempted to attack this person, this therapist, or attack you, Pisces. You could be the therapist. If you're not the therapist, you have a therapist or had a therapist. And now things are so out of whack because there could be an attachment on you that separated you from this therapist. Why? Because this therapist is a gift from God. Yeah? That's an opportunity to talk you off the ledge. You got past life relationships. You have known each other before. Then you got... The lovers, that authenticity, true to yourself. Okay? Then you got the eight of wands. That's a big yes. And you want to keep an open mind. See, whatever this person, the, the full energy, whatever they're struggling through, this therapist, he's replaying. He or she is replaying the words of what this therapist told them. And that's what's bothering them. At this point, now that the damage is done, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. And we'll clarify that. The wild card. You share the same eccentricities. Okay. 
and that's right under the lovers. The lovers is not just about soulmates or a choice in lovers. This is about your north node, being true to yourself, being on that straight and narrow path. Get out your south node, that karmic energy, those karmic experiences. Get out of that. Lastly, you got the magician. You got the, the, this is the Brainiac genius. I feel like this correlates with the Fool card. This person right here. Okay. And next to it, you got the Star card. Okay. This is, this correct. I feel like this is the inner child of this person and how protected this person was. I feel like the egg that the baby is inside was the remedy with the permission of God that the therapist gave this person to help heal this person's inner child and what clarifies that how, how can you be so sure that the most high sent you this therapist how do you know she's she's not a, a, a dark witch or something like that because you got the queen of cups again okay you got mamba she's here that empathic nurturing teacher and what clarifies her? What's clarifying her is the Ace of Cups. God doesn't enter into anything except with gentleness. So what I what I'm when you put all this together for me, it's like this person is in spiritual jail. What does that mean? It means this person either will have issues with finances or this person sought after something or maybe thought it'd be an Einstein idea to kind of go against advice that this therapist gave him and he's paying for it. She's paying for it. They're paying for it. With this 10 of wands, it's like getting everything you wish and you desire and now you're burdened with all the responsibilities that come with that. That thing that you wanted. That prestige that you wanted. Likewise, when you look at the Hierophant next to the death card, the priestess and the eternal student, you had no idea what was under that fabulous cover, that poker face. This is an eternal student. This is a messenger. This is an earth angel. What the fuck you look like disrespecting her or him? And that's that's that that frustration, that passion, that that passion, like so much like Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. Motherfuckers from there, natives, native Philadelphians are so passionate, right, wrong, or indifferent. They are there with you, right, wrong, or indifferent. Until you turn on them or cross the line with them, they will passionately not fuck with you. And they will be real humble about it, like it is what it is. Mash all off. But something about this 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 female savage and the six of swords is like this is an intellect. This is somebody who ain't who ain't got a who knew with the high priestess here, the eternal student, this person knew. But I get a dual message with that. I don't know who you went to that and it's right on the on the on the road with the finances and the career. You could have tried to compromise something with this person. Something with this person's business. Okay? And it backfired. Now you're burdened with all the responsibility. You're not, you did not expect something to play out the way that it did. And this motherfucker didn't say a damn thing. Didn't say a word. Okay? They knew. Probably longer than you want to admit what you, what you was doing. Behind the scenes. And guess what they did? They just walked the fuck off. Because... You cannot put a price on a peace of mind. And that's the big lesson here. That the transformation is shedding that ego. Okay? Get out your ego. You got to go deep within yourself. You can't love somebody. You can only love somebody, correction, as deep as you love yourself. So to feel like you should be jumping off the ledge right now because you gotta. You must feel like 
the biggest asshole in the, in the entire planet. You don't even have to, you shouldn't reveal your sins. It's a sin to reveal your sins. I could tell you some things with these cards laid out the way that they are, but you were, were practicing integrity. And that's the missing element in what happened, whatever happened, all of what happened. And there's a death of transformation. Somebody's protected, somebody isn't. Didn't they, they weren't careful enough. You have to mind your own flaws. I cannot stress that importance enough because there is a hadith with Aisha radiallahu anha telling a man to mind his flaws. And that was their way of saying, mind your business about me. I'm not who I'm not. You're no one for me to reveal my errors of judgment with. Anybody who wanted to disrespect this person, first of all, she know better. He know better. Usually when you do know better, you do better. Okay? Usually when you act with wickedness or want to invite people along or invite fabulous covers along, look at these these three people with this, to this eternal student. I don't know if they went in to study her or him to try to get the drop, to try to learn things about this person, to massively communicate this, I mean, communicate, communicating about this person, possibly with the swords here, that's communication, but that's also mental. You can't break her mind, his mind, okay? Somebody could have wished that on your person, Pisces, and you just stood by, you got birds in here. Two birds in here. One is flying away. One is sitting there. Oh, wait, it's three birds in there. Then you got the dog. The dog represents loyalty to me. Like, your friend is looking at you like, you really going to do this shit? Like, you don't have to do this. That's because this person is burdened with responsibilities. Accountabilities. They have too many accountabilities that they can deal with. And it's causing a mental break they need to take a break because they're on a mental break you feel you you get what i'm saying the most is present both in the relationship aspect of this the connection the room if there's a romantic side to this the most high is right there and the most high is right next to this queen of cups when he sends you something and you don't do it Okay, he, it may have angered the most high and he knows best. So now it's like, this person is like sick to their stomach. Like, why did I do that? I benefited from this femme savage. Okay, why was I doing that? Pisces, you could have been in your, in, in your, your fem, it could have been a jealous rage. Them savage could represent jealousy, likewise, over this eternal student. Not that you don't match this person's wits. It's just that you can't do nothing with this person. Over some money? Was it that serious? Over an opportunity? We all got the same opportunities. And that's what this per that's what's that's what's really banging this person's head against the wall spiritually. They tore the fuck up. Because they fucked up. And guess what? Where the therapist at now? Booked and busy. This was an exclusive clientele purse type of person. This person was exclusive for you. Now it's about to be made public who this resource really is and everybody is like well damn I didn't realize I didn't realize I thought it was something other than what it was but see when you lie and you steal and you cheat that's the energy I'm getting I don't know what you did or how you did it but I, it, lying, stealing, cheating definitely came up like this person it just changed people's perspective of this person this person changed their perspective of you or you changed your perspective of this person. 
that somebody is depressed about it, manically depressed about it. Like they can, they, they, I hear Eminem right now and, and 50 Cent. Don't push me. Right now I'm on the edge. So don't push me. This person is a ticking time bomb. Or you could be a ticking time bomb. This is on hold. Don't believe the hype, as they say. Whoever comes to you with this Barzini business is a traitor. So if you tailgated something negative from another resource, this person now sees you, changes their perception of you. They now see you as a traitor. Somebody who's disloyal. You want to make the effort. Why didn't you make the effort to heal yourself? Maybe. You see how he loved it? You see how he loved this girl? You see how you kissing her? Okay. There's something of value that's been taken from you. From the most high. The Hierophant also represents the most high. And he shows you how elite this therapist is. This this cover, like this is just a cover. This is an earthly duty. This person has spiritual duties as well. No witchy poo shit just because you see Marie Laveau here. Marie Laveau is a devout Catholic. She herself was an eternal student. For those who, who really respects her and not interested in her on a tabloid level. Okay? People honored her and respected her expertise. She was a leader of the community. This is Taurus energy, like Malcolm X. I always talk about Malcolm X. I love Malcolm X, but I love Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. too. He told the truth too. But it's Ten of Wands. Let me see. Since this is this just fills the business side of it, let's do let's do this. This is my entrepreneur deck. Let's get some more clarity. I was told sixty minutes. 60 Minutes is like a news show, right? Remember 60 Minutes where they do interview, they interview all the politicians and different stuff that show. Y'all remember the show. If you like 30 and up, you know the show 60 Minutes. I'm saying it like, like I can hear y'all answer. Like, I don't know. <laughs> 60 Minutes. I keep hearing 60 Minutes. Something is, is going to be exposed. Death of transformation. There's a fresh start for somebody could be this queen of cups this queen of cups is here twice for a reason but it's also next to the ace of cups somebody doesn't have the right you could be improperly medicating yourself meaning you're not using the proper prescription for what's needed. Innovate. Is your business too generic? Highlight what you can give to your clients that no one else can. Frame your offers in a completely new way. This person inspired you to do this shit. Even though you went against this person, this person's so empathic, so caring and concerning that they're not even angry with you. I don't think they're angry with you. But you got the magician here. That's a lot of talent. That's a talented person. The magician name is Dr. John. <laughs> and you got Mambo. Queen of Cups. Mambo. All right. But you got Innovate. This person put their own tail spin on how to get the message across. And somebody want to attack this therapist i feel like it's the therapist that's under attack but i also feel like it's the person that's about that's on the edge that's ready to jump off the ledge okay because they made errors of judgment with the ten of wands and the five of cups they sick because they under they undermined an elite student an eternal student they did not want to come out of their ego so she killed it I think they tried to put something on. You could have called on some gins and these gins could have accidentally got on this therapist or maybe it was purposely done. That's why this person wants to jump off the ledge. It probably was purposely done. And 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 God said, nah, nah, bruh. 
okay? Train. You got to work at it. You don't get instant gratification. It takes work. It takes stamina. Terrifying and up, that's long term. That's stamina. You don't just get like this overnight. You have to earn it. So this person couldn't have been in the mood to accept advice or to be taught what they think they know. But you're still called to keep an open mind because this is a past life relationship. You recognize this person. So for whatever reason, you thought it was safe. And for so much of it, you was. Who's to say this empathic person, whether it be you or somebody else, Pisces, you know, that was some thick and thieves shit. That was, a, that was a good run. I don't know. But this person is telling you, stay true to yourself. What you meant? You can't punish yourself. That's a sin. You don't bring judgment on yourself. You're being too hard on yourself. For something that you did or something that you didn't do. I feel like it's more so something you didn't do. So if you bear witness something that you had the power to change and you didn't change it. That's like standing back on your heels. If somebody's talking about, oh, committing shirk, for example, associating anything with God. Like at the last time, it doesn't matter what sect or religion you are. The commandments applies to mankind. What's the first commandment? Don't put no God or anything equate with me. Don't put nothing before me. And somebody could have said something that contradicted that. And you had you being elite, you being the eternal student, you being wise and all and, and knowing better. And you didn't do that. You didn't you didn't correct that person or really just show them the proof or something like that. Because you can't change people's beliefs, but you standing up for what's truth. You didn't stand up for what's truth. Either somebody did that to you or you did that to them. You just let it happen. That gen is a, is a female or a female put that gen on that person. This person is pure. You can't fuck with nobody who, who is a servant of God. You can't tell, you can't tell lies and say that person is a, is a, a gen or play with gens or play with the dark arts and nothing. You, you can't do that. Not without facts. You got to come correct. And you knew better and you ain't say nothing. You just let it ride. Or somebody did that to you. Exercise daily to keep your body and spirit strong, healthy, and full of energy you need to build your business. So on one hand, you've been working with the enemy for a long time. That's why the enemy's strong like that. All that fire on the back of her dress. They really thought they had it in the bag. Nah, bruh. Now with the five of cups here, all that shit got returned back to sender. Access denied. Now they sick. Or at least the person who could have did something about it is sick. This could be somebody in therapy telling the therapist, like, the rise and fall of somebody. Now they on the cliff. Like, they must feel like the biggest mutt in all of the whole world. Because they didn't make the effort. Well, they could have made the effort. Because great love is worth taking the steps. I don't think this is about the person. It's about more so what the person was representing. That was the point. Right? And they didn't do it. They, they sold out for finances and career. Or keep an open mind. See? I told you. Remember I made a joke about how that man looking at the, at the, the, at the girls? Like, what you think I should do? Huh? These girls over here giving him bad advice. And that angel was at the top like, be careful. God is all knowing. He's all hearing. Be careful. He has a way of exposing things. And where do you think she get her downloads or where you get your downloads from, Pisces? The most high. Say less. Let me see what else can I get from the career side. They say you you can't turn a bad girl good. Who was trying to turn a bad girl good with a fucking glamorous spell? What? Analyze. Did you judge somebody or somebody judged you? Research your market and analyze your competition. Somebody studied this person and did their due diligence on this person. Decide how you're going to make better offers 
and provide more value than everyone else. They can copy you, but they can't steal your creativity. And on the bottom, for hire. There's a, uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed with a never ending to-do list, outsource your mundane business tasks to a virtual assistant. Get support. Somebody thought they were smarter than you. Yeah, they did. You put yourself above this person, or some people did. Now you're burdened with petty work. Petty business, busy work. Petty busy work. You probably got to take a, a, a crappy job. Or well, maybe work at a crappy job where the economy requires for a person to at least make $17 an hour, $16 an hour to live above water. You probably got to you probably work for like nine or 10 slap in the face type stuff like that. Doing dumb shit for people who make millions and they only want to pay you low wages. That's why this motherfucker want to jump off the bridge. That's why this motherfucker missed his therapist. This could be a mother figure. Or just a resource, an outlet to someone. And that was their emotional space. And they sacrificed it for, for something. You did all that innovating, training, studying, analyzing. For what? Could you further amplify on your answer? What? Could you could you further expand on your answer? Clarify. Get clear on what activities and online platforms bring your best clients and customers. Focus your attention there and ignore distractions. Yeah, this person narrowed in. Elevate. New mindset, new results. This person thought you was the lotto, the golden parachute, as they say. For a profit. You see it? There it is. This one was promised to you. But when it's all said and done, you working for pennies on a dollar. You set goals. You plan this shit like dead presidents. Life. And now you're in spiritual prison. That's what I feel like that a lot of the, the Ten of Wands is like prison to me. Spiritual prison. And your only way out of it is to jump off the fucking ledge. That's, that's, at least that's what somebody's going through. Somebody's struggling right now without the right resources without the right maybe they, without the right help without the the right resources divine wisdom somebody turned their back on that divine wisdom that divine intelligence this person is divine divinely intelligent it looked like these girls is young like this is a mature man talking to little girls that could be why this is, I'm at peace with my age. You know, each age comes with a pearl of wisdom. You dig? So, past life relationship. You already knew what you was getting yourself into. But instead, and that's an eight of, this is on the road with the eight of wands. You listening to these little girls. What the fuck? Why you do that? When you already had a space where you could be your, your true authentic self. Let your freak flag fly. It's only it's whatever stone up could be caught. So it doesn't matter how mature this woman is for those, the little girls in that picture, if you must know, whatever stone up could be caught. If you're watching this shit, okay? No matter how old, how young, somebody's going to want you, okay? It's somebody for everybody. That somebody could have just been... For profit for you it's like it wasn't even about you pisces or your person if if it, we talking romantic now i'm gonna put these down we're talking romantic now all right let's 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 use these we going we going we we going give me one what they got what's the ace of wands what they got what is god telling you now was it worth it what is he telling you now? Here. You hear it, but you don't see me shuffling. Here. Shuffle. Shuffle for Pisces.
how you blow that? That was your ten of cups. That was that was that's like like having the eight of wands. That's that's a yes. Okay, that was your that was the answer to all your prayers. That was emotional fulfillment. How did you burn that bridge before you crossed it with this past life relationship? All right, give me one for the lovers. Gemini energy. This person match your wits. What I say, I can't make this shit up. Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. At one time, y'all was like, like this. So really, I feel like the unanswered question is you're trying to understand what happened. But I, I feel like deep down inside, you know what happened. You just want to know what your person know to make them move the way that they, they start moving different with the death of transformation card all of a sudden like without warning you felt like it was without warning you want to know what they know ask the most high right divine intelligence that's the point you weren't supposed to go around that resource for anything not the person what the person represented and what the person represented was the most high for you Give me one on the eight of wands. And you talking about your life is this, your life is that. You feel like shit right now. Your life ain't shit. Your life is whack because you fucked it up. A little bit. Maybe a lot. Maybe it's a permanent ending. Oh, what's that? Six of wands. That's public recognition. That mean everybody looking. Now I, see, I hear 50 cent. Nigga, everybody listening. Everybody listening. I know you ain't gonna let 50 do you like that, man. Damn, rep your hood. He, you hear that? If you listen to the song, he be cracking up in the song. It's the laugh for me within that song. The way he's laughing. Somebody is cracking the fuck up at you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from a usual type. What was you laughing at her for? Or him? What was so funny about him? <laughs> like, they probably think, like, the fuck? What did, you, what did you think was funny? Now, now it's like everything's on display. But this is a victory. It's in an upright. But I also feel like it's a it's an epic fail. It's a flop for somebody. So what somebody believes... One person is failing. The person, one of y'all intended for the other person to fail. I'm not going to lie. One of y'all intended for the other one to fail. And instead, one of y'all got notoriety. But for not for reasons you intended. And the six of wands is representing the eight of wands. Yeah. All right, give me one for the wild card. <laughs> Yo, bruh. Or sis. Hold on, this is seven of wands, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back in there and see if it come back out. Give me one for the wild card. There's no is that was a no that's why the therapist is there too. The wild card is it's a no judgment zone. I mean, as long as y'all was together, y'all was protected, nobody ain't say shit. You can grit your teeth all you want to. So this is like a remedy or something? Somebody just threw it away. Person, place, or thing. Somebody threw it away. I was trying to help you. That's your excuse. You was, who, what was you trying to help somebody do? You was trying to help yourself. That's what it looked like. Somebody waved something in your face and it's like you became starstruck or something. Who knows? Welcome abundance into your life. Create strong relationship with money. Rejoice in the opportunities and experience experiences it brings. All right. Give me one on the wild card. That's what somebody did it for. Somebody don't want you to know. Pisces, somebody don't want you to know or don't want your person. In, your, per, your person don't know that 
You did all this for finances and career. I can't love you like I want to without the right profit, without the right residuals, which is true in, in a lot of cases. It's like it's all about the money, you know, in a way where you can't live the life you really want to without the right dividends. That is true. But I still feel like it's a lack of integrity or the person wouldn't want to jump off the fucking bridge or wish for somebody else to jump off the damn bridge. With that attachment on the back of this person's dress, you ain't want her to never know or that could be a man too. Take it how it resonates. But this person was pure. This person may have saw you as purity. Somebody who is God, who divinely guided to them. And with that fire on the back of her dress, it just shows that she got burned pretty bad. Or what it looked like is not what it is. That's why that death, the transformation is there. Whoever is struggling the most is the one who's burdened. All right. Just flip a card. Oh, my God. Damn. A card don't want to come out. Maybe the wild card speaks for itself. Page of Swords is my research card. Contractual agreements. Somebody got you by the balls. Whoever is the one who sold out, somebody got you by the balls. And I say that because they got your sig they got proof of something. They got your signature. Like you caught Ray Hank. See the bull with the knife in his hand? Right outside the church. Messing with the church is money. But listen though, this is a contract with your with the, the stain of your blood as your signature on it. Wild card. Look. Rudeness. That's somebody attitude. They feel real rude about this this offer. It's like that's how you feel. You right. All right. Why are you snooty like that? All right. Let me think. Which deck do I want to use for? Well, I use my entrepreneur deck for the rest of it. Right. Yeah. All right, give me one on the magician. The magician is representing the magician. There you go. You see on the, on the wand that he has on his hand, it says power on it. He did it for status. He or she did it for status. Okay. This is the queen of pentacles. This person wanted stability or a person of value but it can also represent somebody who wanted to have the luxuries of life without much work ethic because that was on the bottom of the magician all right so what about the star card the star card is healing that inner child somebody just convinced themselves or let some some airhead people convince them that money is going to fix is the root of all your problems they'll fix it if you just had the right kind of money. Maybe. It'll pay for that fancy fancy girl you got. Or fancy guy you got. Or that fancy therapist. That five of cups. I just split the deck. The five of cups is there again. You got nothing to show for it. That nine of cups in reverse. Arrogant. Nine of wands. Nine of wands in reverse. And the upright is like... You got a gun in, you got the thing in one hand, you got the holy scripture in the other hand. This is somebody who operate from a sick heart, hence the fool card. This is somebody who want to wild out, okay? This is somebody who want to spaz out, but no on the other hand, it's like, I've been like struggling. If you saw your person or your friends or family member struggling back and forth, you know, swaying from one way of doing things to the next. You know, this is a tyranny energy. The nine of nine, the nine of wands usually represents mental instabilities, so they could feel triggered about something and it came out in reverse. And that's clarifying the star card. 
that that inner child is is a temper tantrum at play about something about what they didn't get i guess i would lose my temper too if i'm getting pennies on a dollar for all my hard work for all my hard work i would be sick too sick to my stomach call the doctor call 911 you overanalyze something to the point where you miss intricate details. You missed it. It was right there in front of you and you missed it. It's like you were staring so hard with these damn glasses. There they go. You were staring so hard. It's like objects appear closer than what they really are. You were seeing things that weren't there. Oh God, the infinite part. Give me one for the queen of cups. Oh, okay. You threw her away. See? what I tell you? that This is the Ace of Wands in reverse. This is a missed opportunity. Why right on top of that Queen of Cups? I feel like he or she has been rescued from a... a ooh, Eight of Cups. Yeah. He walked away. Eight of Cups is walking away. Alright, so what's the Ace of Cups? Give me one of the Ace of Cups. I was, I was about to say something and I forgot. <laughs> there you go. Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, y'all. Sorry about the, the appearance of the card. But it's, it has different stuff in each basket. Like that's food. That's a passport. That's wine money some other things like each basket has wish fulfillment but it's in reverse and that's on top of the ace of cups arrogant i know a better way i know a better person i know a better place that i can get ahead So why was you trying to leave this person like this? What was all that fire about? Like what was what was all that? The I heard the fire we make. The passion. It's like don't nobody walk around like this on a day to day basis. Like don't nobody walk around. That's not. Did you think your family or a particular social group or religious group wouldn't accept him or her? Were you ashamed of this person? at the transformation this person changed you though show i feel like this person said i think that this lesson was meant to happen like this like it looked like a train wreck it looked like a train wreck just happened for no reason for a reason but you know it's like how to get to this this is very unnecessary and i feel like it had to it had to go like this so this person this person walked away from divine protection divine preordainment something that was preserved for that person so this person may have felt like well if it's mine it'll be there when i get back and that's the arrogance with the nine of cups in reverse is very arrogant energy all right well that's the way you feel about it so ten of wands you want to talk about the ten of wands talk about the ten of wands what does that fire represent on the back of this person's dress let me show you the picture again what does that fire like somebody wanted to just like screw this person over like screw that you it's like you wanted you got set instant gratification off this person saying that you know the professing their devout loyalty him or her Okay, like you wanted this person to be distraught or something with that five of cups. Like, how how dare you? The chariot. This person's left to move on, move forward, regardless of what this fire represents. You still got that that passion to propel yourself forward. You still had you you 
what I all right, this the, the premonition that I'm getting is first of all, you're a savage. You might cry a little bit, you might even feel some type of way, even if you don't cry. But don't nobody work under pressure like you. Look at look at that. Look look at the integrity of her skin. Like she's been burned before. This happened to her before. Or him before. Don't nobody pick up and just dust it off. Like it hurt. But this person know the chariot is about propelling forward. You can't let it hold you back. Even though you don't know where you're going to go or where it's going to take you or how things are going to play out, you just know you have to keep going. Like, this person is an icon. This savage. This is an icon. Because that is integrity. All right, so what about the death, the death card? We unveiled a lot in therapy. That was a lot to take in at tea time. We're really peeling back the layers. Okay? No more jumping at the ledge. You don't have to. There's always a way to get the message across. God loves you. I'm called to say that. He loves you. Like, he has, his mercy is on you. He want, He's not going to see anything happen to you. Anything you need or want or felt deprived of. He got you. You ain't never got to feel like you got to do the extremes to survive. You don't. What's the death card? That's why you got to recite 2824. That's what Moses said when he had to flee the town. And 1745 is to protect yourself from hateful people. Hateful people. Who advised you against what you knew to be true. What you felt to be true. You felt that. You felt that at a soul level. You share that girl. Don't let them hear that. Hell, Earl. You ain't never shared that girl a day in your life. You knew that. But it amused people. Cruel intentions. She was like, silly rabbit. She... Got in this, got in her stepbrother's head, and persuaded him to turn his back on the woman he loved. And she had the, she really was so, like she was savage. Okay, his stepsister. She was like, "Don't you get it? You just a toy, a toy, a little toy that I like to play with. You were very much in love with her. In fact." You're still in love with her, but it amused me to make you ashamed of it. And then, you know, to fast forward through all of that, she was like, you gave up on the one girl you love for your reputation. I think that's the saddest thing on earth. Now, I assume you came here to make some arrangements but unfortunately, I don't fuck losers. So the same motherfucker that turned you, that seduced you away from your person, is the same motherfucker that told you to kick fucking rocks. That's a, a vicious bitch. Or man. Take it how it resonates. Death of transformation. Yeah, this is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. And the upright is independent. And the reverse is codependent. Very clingy. Strapped for cash all the time. Always need something. Always got their hand out. And that's on top of the death of transformation. Yeah. Death of transformation. And then the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody tried to steal something, and that's just not fucking happening. The Most High is not having it. The Most High is saying no a couple times over here. 
Because the Ace of Wands is in reverse too. Where is it? Yeah. Like, hell no. Nah. So you have no money, no business, no, no passion, no integrity. And this person, I guess this person knew that on some level. And picked themselves up, I guess, with the Savage card. And just said, okay. My education don't stop. My life don't stop. My growth don't stop. It is what it is. Okay? This person has goals. Okay? They'll probably get to the money quicker than you with the integrity. I may do a lot of stupid shit, but I'm a lot closer to finding love than you are in the movie. He's just not that into you. She's been going around, going on all these dates and stuff, and the man is like, what have I been telling you? If a man wants you, he will go after you. No exceptions. He said, did I ask you out? No. Well, then why would you force, try to come on to me or create this narrative in your head? It's sick when women do that shit. It's insane. And she was like, well, I'd rather be like that than be like you. He like, what you mean? She said, I may put myself out there too much, but at least I still care what you think you won because women are expendable to you. You have not won, Alex. You're alone. Dig, with all these aces in reverse. All right, you want to wrap this up? If you want to talk shit and run your mouth, Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. What's the advice? What does the therapist want to tell the person or clientele in general? Now that the word is out, it's like, damn, this person know what they're talking about. So now I'm going to pay them for their expertise. Because it's the truth. And they feel it in their chest. You know? I tried it other ways and it was like unsuccessful. So it don't hurt to give that person a try. They like music. You get mute you get the muse of the music. This person is telling you to listen to melodies for healing. Put headphones in and listen to sharper sound image machine, like the sounds of the ocean, soft music, very soft music, nothing aggressive. Okay? It relaxes you. It de-stresses you. So what did... Oh, yeah. It keeps you out of a, a hurt space. Muse of tragedy. Yeah, somebody somebody brought a lot of heat on themselves for no reason. All right. This is what the therapist is telling the fool. Okay, I don't think I need this one for the fool. What does, what does, anything else you want to get off your chest before we wrap up your session? This person had a lot to talk about. Or when this person, when you meet this person or meet or cross their path again, it's teaching this person to let go of control issues, Okay. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Stop forcing the narrative. And on the bottom is children. Your love life is being affected by children. You know what I got? This person could have dipped and dabbled or listened, took advice, took the wrong advice from somebody to try to get somebody pregnant. Or maybe the wrong person got pregnant. Like what? This is somebody who, who see their future and just wanted to take the pieces, like masses to the conglomerate. They want to take this unit or this particular unit for themselves. And it doesn't work like that. You got to take the whole, the whole pie or nothing. It's a no-go. You got to take the whole package. Okay? Because the baby and the healing and the empathy, the optimism, the innovation and creativity, the genius kid, they, they, they come together or something. You know, the, the, it's, it's being gifted to you together. And you already know that because you asked for it. You ask and you shall receive. And the magician is clarifying it 
twice. Pisces, this may have been a, a very dramatic reading. It started off very hot and heavy and dramatic, but that's okay. That's okay. This person was always watching the red flags. Whoever got burned or was attempted to get burned, they 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 were paying attention to the red flags. So you don't have to worry about them. Now that you're, that you're calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. You want this person back. You need that resource. You realize now I can't really go without this resource because this resource is, is, is the remedy. You know, the recipe for my healing. It helps me through things. It helps me to see things clearly so I don't accidentally hurt myself. Pisces, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.